Hey Scorpio, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot and welcome to your July tarot forecast. We're going to be getting insight on the entire month, but we're going to divide it into three sections with the beginning, the middle, and the end. And make sure you stick around to the very end of the tarot reading because that's when we get advice from our cards. And that can be really helpful. So you guys, if you'd like for me to pray for you about anything in your life, feel free to say hello or even send an emoji if you're shy in the comment section. And that way I actually can see you and I have something to direct that energy at. I encourage everybody else to do the same, pray for each other, because why not? So beginning of the month, only taking energies that you need to be aware of. If this resonates, take it. If it does not, you don't have to. And we only take the cards that fly out and volunteer their energy. If they fly in reverse, we read them that way. We have the Three of Cups, but in reverse. We have the Death card, and we have the Queen of Swords. This is getting very real with a group of people. This could be family members for some of you guys, collaborators, work partners. Um, you might feel a little disconnected feel a little, out of con uh, a little out of contact with this group of people. And really, um, the death card is coming out because it's symbolizing that regardless of maybe what your intentions are, your best intentions, there's something that's been played out here. Um, the death card is a natural death to a scenario, a situation, a relationship. And um, what you can rest, you can be rest assured by is that it opens the door to new relationships and new opportunities. And it's almost like this, um, it's, it's like the seasons, right? It's like all the leaves falling off the trees and it looks like a death, but really it's just another stage and it's a necessary stage. So that's why I say, regardless of really what you intend, there's a natural um, flow to this, okay? And we've got the Queen of Swords. This could be an air sign, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or um, Gemini. Or it could be your energy, but I'll explain. Sorry, I'm just seeing how dirty my windows are. What the hell? <laughs> Queen of Swords is somebody who's getting very real with their boundaries. So you may, if you, if this is resonating with you, then you are you may be sharp with your words. You may be very aware of um, what you're not willing to compromise on. Anything else we need to know about this in the beginning of the month? Ah, and why is it all happening, right? Well, like I said, with the death card, it's just an ending, a natural ending, and it's making room for this. This is a new passion. This can be a relationship coming forward, somebody offering their cup to you. This could also be a passion project, but something that um, opens your heart, engages you, so it's really interesting. It's definitely out with the old and with the new energy, okay? So in the middle of the month, let's get a new deck. Let's get in, let's get this deck. I like this deck. Okay, let's give it a little shuffle. For our Scorpios, in the middle of the month, July for our Scorpios, we have. So things you're gonna net you're gonna notice. Um, that ha, you're going to realize in the middle of July just how much energy you were putting towards these people. And for a lot of you guys, there are people who you're really familiar with, maybe like people you would associate as your tribe, like your friends, your like old friends that go way back, uh, family members, uh, could be even extended family. But there has been, um, there were there's a lot of memories attached to this. There's nostalgia attached to this. And I think you're realizing just how f how much energy is freed up. Um, you're leaving something. At one point, you were cultivating these relationships or you're pouring yourself into this. And um, for some of you guys, even the memories themselves, you were pouring yourself into. And you're truly leaving it behind. What is this? Ha! Huh. For some of you, this is tied up in money, inheritance, somehow um, investments, somehow uh, being, uh, uh, somehow, what's the word I'm looking for, you guys? Indebted or obligated, connected, tied to um, somebody who probably was good with their money, 
It could be even a father figure. Uh, this is the king of pentacles in reverse. And you're leaving it and you're going towards this. You're going through towards the nine of pentacles, which is total independence, realizing that you have all that you need to make yourself happy. Some of you guys might even be considering buying property. This can tie up into uh, property, believe it or not. But, you know, if you look closely, she's got all her pentacles. She's got the falcon right on her on her arm and she's got everything she needs. She's totally happy and, and there's a natural power that she's found in herself. So basically in the middle of the month, you're realizing you don't need them. You don't need uh, these memories. They're tying you down. They're exhausting you. And um, you're realizing that, you know, you're fighting a battle this entire time and the battle was wearing you out. And in fact, instead you can go towards yourself, invest in yourself. You don't need their money. You don't need their fill in the blank. End of the month. Let's get actually another. I always start with that same deck and then I'm like, no, we need another deck. End of the month for our Scorpios. End of the month. End of the month for July for our Scorpios. We have, yeah, Ten of Pentacles upside down. A lot of you guys are dealing with breaking a tie somehow to inheritance and totally starting something fresh, a new chapter. The world card is beautiful. It's really good news. So what this allows you to do is free up your vision instead of just, and you might even be, though these other relationships might be like focused on um, maintaining a goal of inheritance or pleasing uh, a father figure or individual who has money uh, that people can be kind of indebted to or <laughs> it's not the word I want bound to somehow um, you are now seeing way more broadly into the landscape and you may even be connecting with those who are different from you, from other places, traveling. You know, the world card literally opens up the world. So now that you've eliminated this obligated, this obligatory relationship in your life, you're looking and you're kind of cutting these ties. You're looking at the entire world like they could be your tribe. Like anybody here could be your tribe, your family. It's what you choose to make it. And you got yourself in the end. That's all you really need. And the, we have the nine of cups wanting to pop out. That's being very, very happy. And the month, seven of swords. Please clarify seven of swords. Sun. And guess what? It's almost like you've been working on this and nobody knows. <laughs> if you've been considering this, know that it'll make you very, very happy, cutting these ties, moving on. Um, but the Seven of Swords talks about deception. In this case, it's not necessarily bad. It's like you don't owe anybody um, an insight to your escape plan. You don't owe anybody uh, part of your happiness. This is all your own journey. And um, yeah, fascinating. So now we're going to start getting advice, okay, you guys? Let's go back to the, the beginning of the month. And that's about this season ending with these individuals. This cast of individuals is getting the death card because it's moving out of the picture and something brand new, this beautiful uh, relationship to something creative, a passion project, or a relationship is coming through. Tell us um, advice from Tarot for our Scorpios. Magician. Don't worry about the balance. Don't worry. Some days you may feel confused, but that's natural process. You have the magician here. Be aware, though, of your thoughts, because at this period of time, they're very powerful. When you get the magician, you are harnessing some serious manifestor energy. So your thoughts become things. So being aware of that is really um, incredible. So at, at, at night, for instance, before you fall asleep, you know, even if you have to put on a type of music or just disengage to any negativity before you fall asleep and go into your subconscious, that is really powerful. Um, throughout the day, just checking in with yourself. Anything else? Advice for our Scorpios for the beginning of the month? 
Okay, well, guess what? You just reiterated with another death card and to this partnership. So the two of cups. This is about creating in your near future a brand new partnership. Um, this could be a love reading for some of you guys. It could be a business reading. For some reason, it's really strongly attached to a sense of family. Um, and uh, yeah, I just have to say that. But this is definitely death to an old dynamic um, in partnership. All right. So paying attention to that and letting it go. When we resist the death card and we hold on, that's when kind of that, that ill, the sick energy can come into our lives and it can move right back out. But, you know, clinging on is something that you're ready to let go of. It doesn't look like that. It looks like you're gonna have no problem. You're gonna be cutting ties, no problem. So that leads us to the middle of the month. Advice for leaving this thing behind, realizing how much it was draining on you and embracing your own independence. And financially, there's a lot of financial ties to this reading. We have, you're, you're gaining a new insight you may be keeping it to yourself with a hermit card. It's not something you have to blab about. It's not something that becomes more true by telling people and reiterating it. You're simply watching all of this go down and you're maybe slightly in awe of this new truth that you're discovering. Because um, there's a transformation here and we have the Ace of Cups. Some of you guys are pregnant, okay? I just have to say that. We don't have the Empress card out here, but this does feel like you all of a sudden have this new relationship or this new love coming forward that puts everything into perspective. It's kind of like, oh no, this is this is how it should be. This is how I want to invest my time. This is who I want to invest my time in. This is a transformation and it requires balance. It's the Temperance card. So even physical balance is really key. What you eat, when you eat, how you sleep, um, you know, avoiding drugs and alcohol, just balancing life is actually going to aid in this transformation. Um, yeah, you are reprioritizing where you put your heart towards, who you put your heart towards. Um, so I feel like Tarot is patting you on the back saying, keep going, just observe, just like watch how this goes down and how much easier it is to to love this thing coming in, making space for it. You need to make space for it and let go of any of those old um, sick energies. All right, so at the very end of the reading, we have this happiness by letting go, making a choice. We have the whole world. At, you're getting all the same ones, right? We've got the cup over and over again. We've got the death card over and over again. And we have the eight of cups over and over again. This is the same card. So this is carrying it through to the end of the month. This is leaving something at one point you put a lot of time and energy into you cared about and going towards the greener pastures. You'll also see in the background here, there is the sun. And what you can't see, but look a little closer, there's the moon kind of embodied inside the sun. The moon in tarot always represents intuition and the sun represents happiness. You're leaving something that's familiar that you were cultivating and you're turning your back and you're saying, you know what? I'm gonna take my chances. I think that if I just keep moving in this direction with faith and my intuition, I'm gonna be much happier. And you're right, you are going to be. So anything else advice for the end of the month for Scorpios? The Emperor. Guess why? Because you're taking charge of your life. You, this is Aries energy. This is like the final action that seals the deal. It's like this act of cutting ties and moving towards broader horizons is going to be very long lasting and this has something to do with your belief systems your commitments the structure you have around your belief systems clarity on the hierophant knight of pentacles you're just different than these people and it doesn't make them evil it doesn't make them bad you don't have to waste energy and deciding even if it is bad you know it's just like you keep moving and we have the Knight of Pentacles. And you may be cautious. So it's saying, keep moving. Let the world open up to you. 
And you can take your time. You can move as slow as you want, but just keep going in that direction. So anyway, I hope that's helpful for you guys. I adore you all, and I'll have your next readings up very soon. Hit the notifications bell if you'd like to know when that is, and um, take care.